Hi traders. I want to go over a couple of things about uh, some trading psychology here that went on in our live training room yesterday. I uh, want to outline a couple things. One, uh, we're going to be looking at a mini Russell. Now in eSignal that's AB. We're going to be looking at the uh, Russell 2000 E-mini and the one minute charts. Okay. And what we're going to be looking at is a VS1 signal that is uh, traded in our training room. And this is a buy only signal. Okay. Uh, it's outlined a couple of ways. And we'll go through this. I'll give you a little primer. Uh, if you see the SIG right here, that's our full qualified signal. These VS1 prints are more of a, hey, you know, trader, get ready to trade. Conditions are favorable uh, for this trade to set up. So this is a buy side only volume based trade. Okay. And this is in the one minute chart. So when we see the SIG, the software is telling us that we have a full qualified trade signal and this blue dot right here, okay, that tells us that we are, uh, that we are buying at market on that bar. But nonetheless, we do have two full winners here, SIG and the blue dot, signal and the buy, but all three targets were hit within that single candle Okay, so that actually cancels the uh, profit plots. As you'll see over here, you know, target one, target two, target three outlined by the blue horizontal lines, okay, and the red horizontal line or the brown horizontal line uh, would be our stop loss. Okay, and the triangles, red triangle and blue triangle, that is one of the qualifiers for the VS1. Okay, that signifies one of the qualifiers. So the distance between the blue triangle and the red must be greater than X, and then we're on to the next qualifier. Okay, so let's look here. We had, and, th and this will be a great uh, small training session in psychology and trading discipline itself for a lot of good reasons. Um, the signal we get right here target one, two, and three, full winner, $220 in the bank per unit, trade is now flat. Another qualified signal. Target one, two, and three within the same one minute bar. Trade is now flat. Okay, $440 in the bank per unit as the model dictates. Another VS1 signal here right, uh, right before 1030. Now, um, I did want to outline that yesterday we did have uh, Philly Fed at this time, and a lot of our traders do not trade uh, 15 minutes, excuse me, 10 minutes prior and 15 minutes after. Okay. Uh, I believe this was a qualified trade, but let's just look at it from the uh, standpoint of psychology and no qualifiers whatsoever. We do get a target one hit, okay, and target two and target three are resting in the market. Trade goes and rolls over, uh, you know. So there, there we are, right there, now, down two hundred fifty dollars. Just think about the progressions of an undisciplined trader and the disciplined trader, okay. The disciplined trader says, "This is my model." Okay, I expect losing trades by following my rules of engagement, and I am okay with that. Okay, uh, obviously the risk to reward profile is in the trader's favor, and the accuracy profile is in the trader's favor. But nonetheless, losing trades will happen. Okay, second VS1 qualified signal, we get the sig and the dot. No con, uh, no targets are hit. Price rolls over, stopped out. And think about okay. Now we have back two back-to-back -back losers. Just gave back uh, our two winners, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're going through. You know, okay, getting a little shaky here, but you know, I'm I'm just trading the model. Here we go again. Signal target one hit. Price rolls over. Stopped out. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Okay, we have uh, uh, three losers. Although we did get one target and taken that contract uh, and protected that risk, we do have two contracts left that did get rolled over and stopped out. The discipline trader still continues. The signal is the signal is the signal. The question a discipline trader will ask himself or herself, am I a VS1 trader? Okay. If yes, I take the signals. Okay. So the next signal comes in. Look what happens here. Target one, target two, price starts to roll back over. Target three is hit and the trade's flat. Trader is now up money for the day. And even look when you buy this bar, how price pulled back, you know, close to that stop again. But the question is, did the trader take this trade? Did the fear of the market of these three losing trades prohibit or prevent the trader from taking this third trade? 
this third trade actually brought the trading day back into the green, okay? Or, uh, and think about this progression, if not, if the trader had sat out, okay, and this is called trading outside of the plan. The plan is to take every trade signal as it is presented, okay? If this trade had not been taken, think about what happens when all this capital is left on the table. Now there is the pain from the loss, okay, and now we are experiencing the pain from money left on the table, okay? Disciplined trader has, has now made their money back in the green, okay, and on to the next trade. The disciplined trader sees their qualified trade signal again, full winner, okay? Again, the, the uh, SIG here is a little bit hidden by this triangle, but again, we have a full qualified trade signal, full winner, okay? So at the end of the day, just trading the one minute, mini Russell, one signal, one unit, you know, after commissions and slippage, could it be, you know, easily to pocket $500 for the day per unit? If, and always the big if, they had followed the rules of engagement, okay? Trading psychology, hands down, uh, aside from money management, is going to be the most important. Uh, money management is incredibly important, position sizing, but hands down, what is going to ultimately dictate the success of any trader, no matter what market, no matter what signal, what system, what time frame, will always be the ability to be disciplined and consistent with their trade signals, no matter what they are. And this is a perfect example of that. So nonetheless, uh, we look forward to seeing you in the room. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Uh, look forward to having you to see this material live. Okay? And certainly thank you for your investment and your time.